So if you were forced to go to war, you'd almost certainly want a Space Hulk watching your back. These spaceships are spacious, they're speedy, supremely well armed, they're also filled to the brim with vintage Warhammer charm. And thankfully for the new Deathwing video game, those traits stop the entire experience from being a complete washout. Because at its core, Deathwing is merely a horde based objective focused FPS with some tactical overlays and sadly these mugs basic principles become far too obvious far too quickly. As Librarian of the Dark Angels, players will assume the role of a space marine, able to use a warp power to move between various destinations. They'll get to use power swords as well as assault rifles and bolters, but also various psychic abilities which can have various effects on the enemy, such as scalding them with flame or supercharging them with lightning bolts. While there will be plenty of neat references to Warhammer 40k fans in the lore scattered through the maps and in the mission objectives, it will likely pass a lot of other players by, because the narrative only vaguely has a trace compared to what you actually do in the game and is therefore easily forgotten about altogether. The interactions between characters do really sell this theme though and give life and energy to the cast, but unfortunately the passage of play feels comparatively lifeless. Most of the time you feel like you're just wandering along corridors, navigating semi spaces, hunting down familiar foes and looking for an exit. Being brutally honest, it just doesn't make for a very fun game, even if it remains an authentic adaptation of the tabletop, especially when you have to take the long way around to reach objectives because the game decides to circumvent 5 or 6 direct routes to buy time and pad the experience out. Sure, it does capture the atmosphere of the Warhammer universe wonderfully by having you stomp and clonk your way around spaceships in that oversized suits. And it does look absolutely glorious in Unreal Engine 4, easily the best looking Warhammer game out there to date. At times it even gives the likes of Alien Isolation a run for its money in the tension department. But Deathwing never really gets out of third gear. The objectives become overly familiar after only the first few levels and the game stability issues really do begin to stack up. For instance, your two AI space marine buddies actually prove to be liabilities in a heavy fray. You'll have to pay more attention to their health bars while deflecting the lion's share of the Xenos. I mean, yeah, they can heal you too and fortify certain positions to protect your flank, but with limited boosters to share between the three of you, those soon run down, leaving you virtually defenseless. Especially considering your buddies are susceptible to the dreaded permadeath. Then there are times you get rooted to the spot while you're being shot at by various types of heavy gunfire. It's annoying when you're trying to get to cover, but find your space boots have some form of intergalactic super glue stuck to them while your armour is being eaten alive. Not to mention the dips in frame rate and juddery motions which do a great job of hampering your progress. The experience all feels very left for dead in space, but lacks a similar compelling hook. Each enemy does require its own strategy with some hiding in stealth and others coming right into your face with reckless abandon, but without any real safe haven or effective environmental spots and fortifications to build on and create an advantage, Deathwing just becomes a corridor turner where you hack slash blast repeat. Deathwing does have an RPG-esque progression system where you can harness different psychic abilities, though while also improving the competency of your allies. You can also switch your loadouts and have different weapons at your disposal, be it miniguns or sword-off weapons, and the combat also feels pretty neat. Most guns can turn aliens into smudge filled with the desired impact and the power sword cleaves through just about anything with satisfying ease. Playing the campaign with friends does breathe a bit more life into Deathwing and is easily the most recommended way to do this, especially since humans will always be more reliable than AI counterparts, yet the eventual monotony of the game will still manage to break through your experience. Space Hulk Deathwing is not necessarily a bad game, and it will hopefully become a better one with content updates and fixes over the coming months. It is just very difficult to recommend when there are much more interesting, enriching experiences on the market. Having a series of technical hiccups go against it also doesn't much help its case, which is a real shame as this is one I've been really looking forward to sinking my teeth into. So my advice, don't go into this looking for a single player gem because you're just not going to find that. Instead, have a group of buddies at your back, delve into this together and reap the rewards of ripping through gene stealers, because sadly, Space Hulk Deathwing is very much a one trick pony, a trick which others like Left 4 Dead, Killing Floor and Vermintide have done much much better. So to summarise, on the pro side it has satisfying combat, there is decent co-op fun with good weapon and ability of variety, Unreal Engine 4 really really suits Warhammer, and the atmosphere and the ambience offers great fan service. On the con side it is technically sluggish, it is very much a one trick pony, AI allies are really really are a poor show, and it's possibly the dullest single player campaign and FPS I've played for some time. Eek. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you have different thoughts on Space Hulk Deathwing, by all means, let us know in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.